Hello guys, I'm the Anime Uprise. Today, we're gonna talk about Citrus, episode six. And wow, it's been a last to upload a video. <laughs> a week without uploading anything. It's, it's, it's kinda weird, but I'll explain it in a video. But anyways, let's talk about this episode. So first, um, we begin with the ending of last episode, or May, and her father meet again at the front door of her house. When the father comes back home, he's gonna be going abroad. Okay, first of all, I do want to say something about this. <laughs> I do want to say something about. I do want to. Say <laughs> I'm now going to be talking about Citrus Episode Six and what's happening right now. So at the beginning of the episode, we cut back to where Yuzu and May confront uh, May's father. I don't I forget his name. Sorry. Um, and yeah, it's all this happens. And all the confrontation happens because all the awkwardness between May and her father. Because like May wants her father to run the school and and run their school, and she wants Tim to take her place when she. He's ready to come back. But the problem is, he doesn't want to go back. He doesn't want to teach at school. I wouldn't want to teach at a school either, to be honest with you. But, <laughs> so I can see where that man's coming from. But hey, so, yeah, so he gets into a fight. He tries to come give her a present. Then she goes back to her room. So that's really how that worked out in the end for Mr. I Ihara, I guess. If that's the last name. That, that is the last name. Wow, okay, 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 I got the next topic's pretty good, okay. So, after all that happens, after uh, Yuzu meets May's father, talks around, talks about her, uh, a little bit of her past with the father and all that, she goes back to a room where May is pouting, or like, being all sad and all that stuff, like being sad, what well, almost happening, and then she goes there and tries to give her some comfort, and then starts crying and stuff, and wow, she, she completely, uh, I wouldn't say sexual assault, but I say it's like she should have wanted that too. Like she wanted that, so I don't think it's that bad. But she didn't really get any consent either. So she tries to go full on in, tries to do the deed, but in the end, Yuzu slaps May in rejecting her. And after that, it's a little awkward for a little while. <laughs> and just everything goes on for like a complete day of school. Everyone's been depressed, May especially, feeling all depressed about everything. Okay, it's only been one day since May's father has arrived, and wow, it's, he's already going, he's always going, he's going abroad again, he's going f back to another country, after one day of him seeing his family. <laughs> Every other time. I swear, so many interruptions. Anyways, so I was saying that May's father is already going back to another country, going abroad again after spending one day with his family. And wow, okay, why would a father do that? Just leaving his daughter after one day to go journey around another country and have some one vacation type of thing. Why would he just go off like that? Like I don't understand that part. So it's just something that I personally bugged me a little bit at the least. Like, it bugged me a tiny bit. Okay, and near the end, because this is almost the end of the discussion, actually. Near the end, uh, May and Yuzu kiss. It's not as bad as the beginning, but they kiss. And it's a pretty good, like, emotional scene happening there. He's just crying for some unknown reason. He's feeling sympathetic for May because, you know, made up with their father and all that. Which I first talk about. Talk about that afterwards, because you know, out of order now, I guess. But anyway, let's go with let's go with the kiss. So, yeah. So like, after feeling better now, and just feeling have new motivation to run the school herself with a friend for her father to come back. She's doing it for herself now. She wants to run the school, and now she's just feeling empathetic because you know how May and her father made up, she's feeling empathetic, she just suddenly cries. She doesn't really state a reason, so we don't know why, but I theorized, I guess I will use that word, theorized that she was crying because she doesn't have, 
she can't have a moment with the, like that with her father because her father is dead. So, <laughs> so yeah, and they end up kissing because um, May was gonna rub off tears and then she was really close to her, her face. And May, and it usually turns around and like go like right next, like right face to face. And then they start kissing. Didn't expect that. I I just expect look. I didn't expect to kiss. I put, I expected them to look each other in the eye, just be like, hey. Hi. Emotional scene. But instead, it's like, oh, kiss, not a big blow. But anyway. Okay. After that, like I said before, let's go back to the. Yeah, so May and her father make up and all that stuff because they want to know the trouble of going to the airport or going to the train station to catch her father leaving to go abroad. So that all happens. They just go together. They go, you know, May meets up with her father, makes up. And just all that stuff. Oh, this review is sort of uh, out of order, but that's my fault. This review was all right. The best episode by far is still episode three, but my opinion. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.